Right, that bounty's done, but apparently there are some new weapons waiting for me. So we can check that out. We've got several options. We've got Bonnie, we've got the Marshal, and we've got West Dickens. Might do West Dickens, you know. We did rescue him after all. See what he wants. I bet you'd be like the Schofield revolver, wouldn't it? The faster rate of fire. Hello, friend. Nope, you can't put no price on safety. Bloody hell, poor horse, mate. We'll have to hunt some like, animals or something. No. Yeah, there's no new weapons waiting for me. We might get the shotgun at some point. Right, let's see what old uh, West Dickens wants. You shall not give false testimony, expert, profit, except for profit. <laughs> and I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel As opposed to East West Dickens. Dickens. Of East Cheap London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. Hat. Your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. Uh, at the I mean, I did rescue you. Of knowledge. Of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Mm, of course you do. Uh, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. <laughs> oh. But for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Very uh, considerate, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Easy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> um, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. Snake oil. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right, John. Let us make haste for Ridgewood Farm. I don't even know where Ridgewood is. Are you gonna ride? Oh no, I'm riding. Sir. Away we I go. About you, Mr. West and I about you, John Marston. Oh. Hood week in the week. Gullible out of their hard earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, oh. for heeding such ill informed scuttlebutt. Good old scuttlebutt. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. Mm. <laughs> yeah, sure they do. <laughs> happy customers attest to that. Those men tried to kill you didn't look so happy. <laughs> Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and mm. medical research. If my tonic is such a sham, Excuse me, fellas, coming you explain through. the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. Yeah, you were well, the injuries weren't as bad as we first presumed. And I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. Mm. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. My God-given talents. Really starting to regret this. I feel like John's talents are with a weapon. The outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, oh, for goodness sake! Nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually. I'm being hoodwinked into this uh con the virtues I will have form a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the fame such as oh nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work I assure you so it is all a shame 
No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo. Ballyhoo? Surprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyatch camera post knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. God damn it. And there's pissing rain as well. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the cloud. God. Oh, it is bucketing down. Oh, this is a fancy place, isn't it? Ridgewood Farm. See, the map doesn't do it justice in terms of the scale. You think, oh, it's not that big. And then you get to like, you go from A to B and then to C and you realise that it's massive. <laughs> and you still got to go all the way to Z. Evening, fellas. Don't mind me. Is everyone, all the cowboys going to be gathering around? Howdy. Oh, I suppose they've mm. got electricity. Well, there might have been electricity, but from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, back God damn, that's a lot of things. Strains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves. Stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove <laughs> the qualities of it by taking a drink right now. Oh, God. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom God, of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your good. eyesight is greatly improved. Is that not so, friends? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. <laughs> what a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Oh, are we getting introduced to dead up there? Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Are we using dead eye? Remarkable! Oh. The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. All right, big man, calm down. With your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, All right, our corner. test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above Can we use dead eye? We must be able to use dead eye. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready. He's about to throw it. Go on. 
I'm meant to draw? Draw your gun, my friend. Go home! Hey! hey! Behold the power of the elixir! Plucked out of the sky! Hey! Hey! What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, mister. Come hey. On. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has oh, for been offered sake. to you our fool. volunteer. <gasps> oh! For a display of Herculean <laughs> brawn. <laughs> Behold the miracle tonic! Get him down! Oh! <laughs> Got him. There it is! Skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do Your Marston is a superman. Pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get him. Whoa, oh, easy. Out. He's got a gun. Dead eye. Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I do apologize. Should have just killed him. And oh, hey, a marvelous shot, dear boy. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. <laughs> Everyone summon the, the elixir. <laughs> well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? Uh. I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Good man. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking. About Give me some money. And uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, oh, God. This is the one I'm thinking of. But I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm, I get that. I get that. So we sneak into there. Where's my stallion gone? You're not my horse. Come on. Come right, we'll go to Seth in a bit for now. Let us go. Oh, okay. We've got two, two stranger missions. Can I go out this way? Oof. Oh, okay. I don't need to stay anywhere. I'd rather just be uh, living on nature's land. Living by a campfire. Until we get our... Uh... Oh, easy. Hi, hello there, lady. Hello, hello there. Wait, were you from the train? Hey, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Did you get kidnapped? Have I seen you before? Yeah, on the train, definitely. Uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. 
<laughs> oh, Jedi. <laughs> Hello, Jedi. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So, uh, faith can move mountains. Yeah, I can't stop a bullet, though. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. Sure you I can, I see. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. <laughs> and full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Very true. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Oh, for goodness sake. Bring in our medicine. Have we got medicine on us? We have. I've got medicine on me. Miss Jenny. Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. <laughs> I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. You Lord, I knew you'd save me. <laughs> I'm grateful. Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. <sighs> Tell me. <coughs> One way of looking Are at there it. Angels in your vision. Jenny. Uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I'm in heaven. Oh, for goodness sake. Heaven. Jenny's five. Quick killer. Here it is. The final test. Devil take. Well, she's running, running back to town now. <laughs> Is this one? Let no man be put asunder. Was that a uh, musician says Peter? Is it not? Ah, oh, yes. Come on. This weather is really annoying me. Odd fellows rest. Oh, he's been buried there. Oh. See. But now she's running back to town. <laughs> Anyone we know, death by gunshot. Peter Turner, betrothed to Miss Alma Horlicks. Killed by the blow to the head. Boom, there you go. Come on. Right, shall we head back to... Shall we do the marshal then we'll head back to Bonnie? Night watch job. Mind you, we do need some money. Do you know what? We'll go... Oh, guys, there's American appetites as well. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with Marshall. Go back to Marshall. Then we'll head back to Bonnie. Complete Bonnie and then head to Seth. There we go. In the meantime, everyone can enjoy the older, the ride. Oh god, the harmonicas, the violins. God damn, good music. Go faster, boy.
That's crazy because armadillo compared to black water is like mad because it's proper industrialized. Trotting through. We've got American appetites there as well. Wonder if we can go around the side and speak to him that way. Mister, she's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging a rock and they got her. The stories are true. Oh, God. <laughs> they got the sun and the they got the... What do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. <laughs> Made me fill out a form. Oh, God. Beryl ain't strong. But she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Oh god, there's some cannibal in there. Okay, hold on, Marshall. I'll come back to you in a minute. Alright, oh, alright, alright. Back to Hanging Rock. Come on, come on. No time to lose. At least the rain stopped. Easy now. Bunch of coyotes. Chilled vibes. Not seeing a thing. Yeah. And into the canyon. Man, they're just gonna get picked off. <laughs> cool. Damn you, boys. Falling into some cacti now. Let me get them first. Beautiful. Right, let's deal with that. There's definitely going to be just a pile of blood again, isn't there? Yeah, look, there you go. An arm. Uh, there you can play a part in the story line. Check back to the sheriff's office in the future. Oh. Interesting. Right, let's head back to Marshall Johnson then. Damn, what a view. What time is it? Half, nearly half ten. Hey, evening, fellas. Oh, 
there was an, I remember there was an achievement where you got to ride from one point of the map to the other using well, using only horses and you got to do it before the sun sets. Oh, it's such, I remember it was such a fun challenge. Right, back in Armadillo. Right, let's hitch her up now. To speak to the marshal. Not like anything else is open. But it is late at night. Apart from the lovely undertakers. All good. <laughs> 